Hey guys, it's Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. Today we're taking another look at the very popular Next Launcher. Probably the coolest home replacement launcher you can find on the Play Store. I made a video showing this off once before, the cool animations and things. But I didn't get into the 3D mode. So that's what we're going to do today. So there's a couple ways to enable 3D mode. One way is to go into the preferences here. Uh, it's this wrench right here. And then up at the top there you see enable 3D screen mode. That's one way. There's also a quick toggle. If you tap on the little, uh, the little scrolling button here on the side, if you just tap on it, a menu pops out and you see we've got this quick button here click on it we get a little information about 3D screen mode and you just want to press OK and then here we go we're in 3D mode now I already put in my custom clock here uh, you get this weather widget is default but you see that when you spin it it is very much in 3D the weather widget is right behind my clock there that's pretty cool. Everything looks like it's wrapping around this pedestal down here and uh, the dock icons are, are lying on the side of this pedestal. You can also spin these and you can set the number of dock pages that you want here. It's, it's default set to two. If we go into our apps, you see they kind of zoom in here and animation's a little uh, laggy at first but after it loads it's smooth. Then the scrolling effect in the drawer here is pretty cool. It spins around and you see the icons are kind of hovering above the page there. So you can use this little uh, slider handle here to spin through. And if you flick it down you get a cool little spinning motion. We have a couple options here. This one takes you to your widgets and you see the drawer icons split apart and then come back around when you close, like a doors shutting, opening and closing. It's pretty cool. We also have uh, a menu section for the drawer where you can do such things as add folders, change folders, uh, change the view of the drawer here, as well as hide applications that you don't need jump back to the home screen and just a really cool animation there as we go into the home screen swiping up pulls up your menu uh, as it does in the regular 2d mode but we get a cool little animation and different kind of menu pops up you have different themes of course for this as well and you can change the icons as well as the icon backgrounds the frame around the icon and the animation the icon performs whenever it's pressed. Long pressing on the home screen brings you in a home screen menu where you can add a certain elements like uh, applications, widget or wallpaper. You can choose which screen you want to add to. Let's go back to the main one there. And you can add uh, applications as well as shortcuts and next launcher shortcuts jump out of there as I said you can change the background you can uh, rotate the icon you can make the icon smaller larger then you can also uh, choose what happens when you click on it the animation then you can choose to save it or uh, delete your choices which is what we're going to do Next we'll check out the effects and these are simply how the screen uh, the transition effects from one screen to the next gives you a little demonstration there as you choose it and then you can uh, check it out again I think I personally just like the first one there Now if you go into settings here, uh, there's one thing I wanted to show you guys real quick. And I believe it's in screen settings. There it is. 
gravity sensor. So we'll enable that and I'll show you how that works. So you see whenever the gravity sensor is enabled as you tilt your phone one way or the other everything on the screen is affected uh, by the gravity in that direction and when you shake it, it they, everything kind of bounces around. It's a pretty cool effect but it can be kind of hard to click on an icon when it's jumping all around the screen. And the last thing I want to show you is that if you have an icon on your home screen and you long press it then release you get a bunch of options pop up here or things you can do renaming it getting some information about it uninstalling it deleting it from the home screen things like that but there you go guys that was a quick look at the 3d mode on the next launcher bear in mind that this is the full version so some of these options might not be available on the free version link down below where you can get this in the play store but that's it for me guys this is sam with mobiletechvideos.com thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time hey guys well you did it you made it to the outro screen thank you very much for watching the video if you liked it be sure to hit that like button it really helps out the channel and don't forget to hit that big subscribe button right below me so you can stay up to date with all the videos coming out in the future well that's it this is sam with mobiletechvideos.com Thank you very much once again, and we'll see you next time.